Welcome to my channel. My name is Sherry Fratt and I'm based in Nova Scotia in Canada. On my YouTube channel, I just share my personal experiences about life in Canada, where I live, and about life generally. On my channel, I also do a bit of immigration videos because I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and RCIC. At Green Tea Lives Where I Work, we help you with your visa applications to come to Canada from tourist visas to study permits, work permits, permanent residence, and school admissions across schools in Canada. Like some of you already know, uh, myself and my children went to Nigeria. So I'll be showing you some of the things we go to in Lagos, Nigeria, and some other parts of Nigeria that we went to. Okay, so come with us. Let me mention that we left Nigeria in 2016 and coming back in 2024, a lot has changed uh, for good and for bad. I'll be sharing you some of my experiences in Nigeria, okay? And uh, so on this day, we went to a place called Fonzia World. Let me mention that Lagos has changed uh, for good, of course, and so a bit of some challenges that I would see to get better. You know, Nigeria as a whole, some things you know, need to get better, but I've seen a lot of, some, some level of improvement as well, changes and all of that. Honestly, if not for the, the case, the, like, the things that I'm not happy about, Nigeria is a place to live. It's a wonderful country. Is it the weather? Is it the food? Is it the people? And so many other things. But for economic reasons, you know, Nigeria is a place I want to live in for now. Okay, I wish I could live here. It's just a beautiful country. Even though I left eight years ago, coming back, it didn't feel different. I didn't, it didn't feel strange to, to be here. It feels like I was back home, and that's a big deal. It just tells us to show that Nigeria is indeed a beautiful and a great country. I just pray that we get better leaders and even followers, you know, to make our country better and take it to, to the level, you know, where it's supposed to be. We are a giant of Africa. We should live by that name in all ramification. Enough of that. So we went to this place, beautiful place. It's a new spot in Ikeja. Do they already have a, uh, a venue in Lekki? Uh, but this Ikeja one that we went to is a new center. It was a week and two days old on the day we went. So it's pretty new. So we literally went to a new spot. Beautiful space. I love there. One thing I love a lot about this place uh, is, the, is the staff. They were hands on. When we got in, we, we had to sanitize our hands. They gave us the tag, the, um, the what's it called, the band, you know, and there are three different um, uh, tickets uh, types. So we have, they had the 30 minutes, they had one hour, and they had two hours. I got two hours for my children. <laughs> The staff were very nice, they were very polite, they were helpful, they were on standby literally all through our stay for anything the kids needed help with, uh, which added to our experience uh, at this place. Ah, good job. On this day, we got to the place a few minutes before 6, and the reason was because I wasn't working. Even though we came to Nigeria, does not mean that <laughs> I'm going to be on leave forever. I was already on, I took uh, like a month leave when I went to Saudi Arabia for age. So coming back to Nigeria, I did not have enough time to stay on leave again. So I was working or we were also holidaying in Nigeria. So on this day, I had my sessions as usual. And when, once I closed from work, I then said I was, we left the house around maybe past five or thereabouts. So yeah. 
so if you see that my face was a bit you know stressed in the video because i'd worked when i got back from Saudi arabia i had loads of work waiting for me to have to like you know do overtime sort of, uh, somewhat you know but i mean I, in the midst of all of that i still had a great time for my children to have fun in nigeria first let me thank you for booking our service i really do appreciate it okay. don't mind me sharing okay. if you don't mind sharing how you hear about us or about me okay yeah I, today i was so disturbed that i didn't know what i was doing so i went on youtube okay so i i googled canada study the future okay and then from the videos i've been watching you broke out your my your page video. okay just today yeah, your page yes yeah, okay especially the one you uh well, i think it was the november 2023 and video um yeah video okay i came out so that was the one i watched and then i and then i went down to the comments and see how i can contact you so i just booked the section okay well that's so that you're you're, you're like you booked yeah, your you session were, like yeah, they, they, Yes. Oh, oh, thank so you. So from your video, I could see that you, I could approach you with my problem, and then okay. you would see her. Okay. So I just said, let me just go. Okay. To the, so I just booked you. Okay. okay. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. And let me, you know, yeah. explore. Like I mentioned earlier, we were here around 6 p.m. and it was only a weekday, so it was just us. Uh, we met some people when we came, about two, one or two families, and then when we came, it was just us for those two hours. Before the two hours elapsed, another family came, somebody else came, but we were largely we were like almost the only one there for the majority of time that we were there. So that made it feel like you know it was a personal space or a private space, the small place as well. So I liked the fact that it was small. I could look all over my children at once. So I could take one uh, one child on one ride, you know, peep and see the other one and then the third one. So I liked the fact that it was a bit, you know, confined. So it's not like you have to like keep looking for one child or the other. So if you were like a mother and like me, you want to be able to see your kids all at once, uh, this is a good place for you. <laughs> So my kids enjoyed this place. I also liked it, and I'm happy that my kids are able to experience this kind of things in Nigeria. You know, so it's not only the bad side that they've seen in the media that they know about Nigeria. They've seen a lot of good things. No doubt, there's some things that are not so good, just like in any other country. But I'm happy that they can experience Nigeria, their own country, in this way and feel very proud. But clearly, feels like he's really, really surprised. Like even seeing that Nigeria has, you know, surpassed the expectation, you know, in lots of ways because they didn't think that even this ride that turns upside down. I've not seen such in Canada in a game arcade, though. Not all these big, big places. Like in a small, all those game arcades you see in, in malls. I've not seen this kind of, you know, it's got, I think it's called 360 thing or something like that. So, them since it's in Lagos, it's a big deal for me. You know, they can tell their own story themselves. Are you scared? Yeah. Yeah. fun?
So for this ball pit, your kids have to put on a pair of socks before they can go in. We didn't go with socks, we just, you know, when we pair of slippers, so we had to buy socks. So if you are looking to go with your children, uh, go with a pair of socks, you can save your money, you know, on socks. But we had to buy it. You know. So I would say that for those two hours that I bought, it was well utilized. Or well, you could do one hour if you're on a budget or if you don't have two hours to spare. I think an average of one hour should be fine as well. But we did two hours and those two hours uh, are well utilized. They went on all the rides. So for the two for the two hours, it's all inclusive of all the rides and everything there. I think for the one hour, there are some like limitations for they also have 30 minutes. And at the point, I also had to join in because it looked all fun. So it's not only for kids, it's also for adults as well. So I joined in at a point because really, I'm somebody's child too, so I can enjoy my life. So for me to join in playing any of the games, I also had to buy a ticket. At this point, uh, the kids had done about 90 minutes out of the two hours. So it was 30 minutes, so I had to buy buy 30 minutes tickets so I could join them and also have some fun, uh, which was nice. At first, I'm like, oh, these are all kids' stuff. But trust me, there are a lot of things that adults can also do, a lot of, like, you know, uh, games. I enjoyed myself in those 30 minutes, so I'd not really come and watch over children. <laughs> I also came and enjoyed myself, which was good. Uh, so, yeah, at this point, it was almost 8 p.m. We were already rounding off, and the kids went on all the games that they played everything. Well, for my own 30 minutes, I couldn't go on some rides, of course, like the 360 one that turns around, and uh, the 3D one, and a few other rides. I couldn't go on that for the 30 minutes. So, if you want to have a full experience, you have to get the two hours. And then one hour, so you get more than what you get for 30 minutes. So, but for 30 minutes that I got, it was good. What I played was good. I was able to join the kids. I was able to join my kids on you know, playing together. It was just fun. It was a way to have fun and also relax because I was coming back from age, you know, resuming work almost immediately. You know, it was, it was, it's been quite stressful. There was a way for me to relax and unwind as well. So after the um, ticket expired, then the last thing they are, they are to do was to go on this uh, car ride, which is outside the center, like on the corridor or something like that. So once you finish, they'll remove your ticket, and this will be the last uh, ride you'll go on. And then that's it. You can also enjoy this as well. It was fun, but I did not, I did not go on this one here. Yeah. But the kids went to it and they liked it and because the, uh, the only thing i see about this part that's like a complaint i have is where this ride uh, to go on is a bit tight so the kids had to be careful if i the one of the stuff had to go with the with all the kids even nabili had to go with him because they were scared that so the car would not go and bump into you know the wall or into somewhere but, but overall it was nice so that's us leaving the place and the good thing about this place where the um, uh, this place is is a mall that has a couple of food centers so burger king domino pizza there were a lot men like well over like five 
places that you can eat, you can drink, you can buy ice cream. So I think that's a plus if you are going here. So once you finish playing, you, know, you can then come and refill here. Uh, so we got some burger, which was good. Hello, people. Pizza. Are you? <laughs> so we all got a burger. Um, I came with fries. Mine came with um, uh, chicken nuggets. It was good. They were all juicy. Like it was really, really nice. I enjoyed it. That was pretty much how we ended this night at this place. If you're wondering where this place is, it's at on Joel Ogunike in Ikeja, 32 Joel Ogunike. They were that nice. They were that nice to us. That's why I'm giving them a shout out. So, if you're looking to visit, uh, take your kids there by all means. Uh, please go there. We had fun, and then left the place around nine thirty. You know, I'm used to in Canada. You can leave your house at six, seven, and go somewhere and come back at any time. It's pretty safe. I guess I assumed it was the same <laughs> with Nigeria. Even though I know that Nigeria is not very safe. Let's be honest. But I didn't, I wasn't really afraid because, like I said, I had to work before we left the house. We are going on you know, this venue to where we stay is about just a few minutes. Hmm? We are just driving, we call, we got a boat driver, like an Uber driver. We had only driven like maybe like five minutes or thereabouts. There's this place in Ikeja. Uh, like, an on, I won't say under a bridge or something, somewhere eating. This uh, boat driver passed there. Honestly, if I did not, if I was the one driving, I wouldn't have thought that anybody would be by that place standing to stop cars. A policeman was there stopping cars. Apparently, the boat driver was familiar with this because I, I sense that he, 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 didn't, he, he drove a bit slower than he was driving. So it was a checkpoint. The officer said, Oh, we checked. I was like, Okay, maybe regular, uh, you no know, regular checkpoints. And then the next thing I heard him say was, Step down, talking to my son. Nabi was in front while we, me and the girls were at the back. And I heard, Step down. That step down rang in my head like one billion and one times. I'm not even exaggerating. You know, you have heard, you've watched people talk about police brutality, police illegal checkpoints, and I never imagined it happening to me and my son. I mean, I still see my son as my baby, no matter how tall or how old he's getting. And in be like, between a single and an eye, they said, oh, don't worry, go, 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 go. I think he looked back and then he saw me and I said, okay, you can go. So when we drove past, the guy now said, ah, now because he see you for back, that's why I say make it go. In that all those yahoo yahoo boys. That was what the driver told me that the police driver, that the police guy that's familiar, that that's that, that's their regular routine. They just stay there illegally, nobody telling them to stay, they just stay there. And there was no lights in this place, guys. There was no lights. What that guy was doing there, I, I have no idea. There was no lights, just stayed there. Like I was scared, even though my son did not step down, but just hear him. A police officer tell my 13 year old son step down <laughs> it gave me chills i was scared like <laughs> well i have to lie and, the, the, and that's life you know one minute you are having fun one minute you are enjoying yourself and just the next minute something unpleasant would happen to you i don't know what would have happened if my son had stepped down i don't know i mean it was dark there was no light there Anyway, that was my experience. Even Nabi was scared. <laughs> I could sense that he was a bit scared because we've never experienced that before in Canada. Nobody, even if a policeman stops you, never tells you to come down like that. He comes, he or she comes to your car to check whatever you know thing he wants to check or ask you whatever questions he has. Ha. <sighs> anyway, that's my story about that night. We had fun, but towards the end of the night. <laughs> I got a bit scared for a few seconds, and that's like few seconds, it still gives me chills as I'm making this video. May God keep us safe all the time, and keep our children safe as well. I don't know who's, I don't know who's supporting this 
illegal checkpoints, you know, this, you know, it was in the night, like 9.30, there was no light there. It was even using a torch light. A torch light was what this officer was using to stop cars. So we are back home now. How was today? Amazing. 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 Every best day of my life. You <laughs> can exaggerate. So what was your favorite part of today? Mm, going upside down. Upside down the rice. And also the fries. The fries, okay. Yeah, Nabia. I'm going upside down on the fries. Hey, don't copy me. What about you, Nabia? I like the, what's it called? The, I think, Fonzia and then fries. I like Fonzia and Burger King. Okay. Yeah, I like both of them as well. Yeah. Really fun. Yeah. Fonzia World and Burger King. Okay, so we had fun today? Yeah. Yeah. So, do you think that you can you get such a such thing in Nigeria, Fusa? Because mm -hmm. you're asking me if there was TV in Nigeria, so they use. Ah. Are you surprised that we have something like this in Nigeria, like Burger King and the Fonzia World? Yeah. You're surprised. Yeah. Did you think you're gonna find this in, in Nigeria, or you don't think so? I do not think. You do not think so. Now you know better. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is a beautiful place, too, right? Does it have McDonald's? Well, Burger King is like McDonald's. We don't have McDonald's, but we have Burger King. We have other ones like that. Do you have museum? Just joking. We have more places that, that are even more than a museum. We have a nice place. Anyway, thank you for your feedback. You're See you next Come. time. You're the best mommy ever. Oh, thank you. Thank you for taking it. You're welcome. Love your eyes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Shuza. <laughs> All right, bye. bye. And I've come to the end of this video. Thank you for coming along with us. Bye. 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 See you next time. See you in another of our videos. So you can see my birthday. <laughs> but this is your fight, we know. <laughs>